Nothing gets the audience more dewy-eyed than some amazing romance between two people who seem to be made for each other. These romances usually lead towards some very steamy scenes, especially when depicted in a series like Outlander. Many of the series' most passionate moments have occurred between Jamie and Claire. In today's video, we'll discuss the steamiest moments these two have shared. First off, let's look at the pair's romantic history. As in real life, Claire and Jamie got together under the strangest circumstances. When she fell through the stones at Cronadoon, she was the first time traveler to arrive in that era, right into the Highlander's arms. From then on, things got even more complicated because they had to get married to protect her. Despite the impending doom, the two began to develop feelings for one another. Fans have witnessed them suffer through heartbreak, assault, and years apart over the series. Just thinking about their whirlwind romance is enough to reduce you to an unstable mess. We got to witness their proclamations of love and then some. Those who have seen the show will recall that the pair embarked on a journey to visit Jamie's relatives. This pivotal episode was a welcome break after the nerve-wracking witch trials the nurse was subjected to. During the journey, the time traveler told her beau the truth about where she was from. We see her tell him about the future and explain what happened to her. Moved by her story, the gentleman gave her the option of returning to her own time. The sweet gesture melted our hearts. But of course, his wife didn't want that. And in what we can only describe as a heartwarming moment, she decided to stay with him. What's more, as they had journeyed to meet Jamie's relatives, she saw a whole new side of him and fell deeper in love with the hunk. To start with, we have the romp in the hay at number 10. To begin the countdown, we have this super steamy scene from the sixth episode of season five. Let us set the stage. There's an intense gambling game, a wedding, and two people are hopelessly in love with each other. Sounds perfect, right? During the game at his Aunt Jocasta's wedding, Jamie put Claire's wedding ring up as collateral. Let's admit, this wasn't very thoughtful of him. So ultimately, it led to an argument between the pair when they got a private moment in the stables. They each had pretty witty comebacks to each other's accusations, and viewers could feel the tension between them. Exasperated by his wife, Jamie claimed she was a woman like no other, but kept forgetting that she was still a lady. Affronted, Claire slapped him clean across the face. A look of anger came across his features, but it was mixed with lust and wanting. The scene erupted into a physical confrontation that took a very turn. Now for the pre-battle exercise at number nine. Wars bring out something primal in people. Maybe it has to do with the fact that not everyone is fortunate enough to walk away from them. Or maybe it gives people a chance to declare their love for one another, knowing they might not get another chance. The seventh episode of season five features the Battle of Alamance. This was the last war fought by the farmers and rural citizens of North Carolina in their rebellion against the affluent and corrupt colonial rulers. Before her husband had to go off to battle, Claire tried to divert the Highlander's attention by throwing him a birthday celebration so that he wouldn't miss the fighting. He was set to fight alongside the Redcoats against the Regulators. On the other hand, the Highlander was consumed with the thoughts of turning 50, as he might not be as attractive as he was in his youth. Like, that's even possible. In a stroke of brilliance, the time traveler seized the moment and proposed a morning tryst by singing Happy Birthday in a breathy... Marilyn Monroe impression. Well, you can imagine what that might have led to. Coming up at number eight, the lightning before the storm. If you're a show fan, you know that the couple rarely had a quiet moment. After rescuing their nephew from the kidnappers, the pair finally got some much needed alone time together on a ship returning to Scotland in season three, episode 13. In a twist of fate, the ship went down and they ended up in North Carolina instead. Delighted by this turn of events, the Highlander claimed that he had been waiting to make love to his wife once they arrived on dry land, but their fiery passion didn't let them hold off for dry land. What a satisfying end to an interesting adventure, right? Let's look at the Fury Union by the campsite at number seven. After experiencing firsthand the dangers in the new world, the married couple retreated to the safety of the woods for season four, episode one. They found themselves lost in deep conversation, nestled beside a cozy campfire, and the two finally made the life-changing declarations of love that the show's loyal viewers had been waiting for. The handsome Highlander declared to his loving wife that his soul belonged to her and her alone. This led to an explosion of emotions that turned out to be hotter than the campfire. Up next at number six, we have the tryst on the open sea. For the third season's ninth episode, while journeying on the Artemis ship to Jamaica, the passengers found themselves in the vast sea without wind for their sails or clean water to quench their thirst. As a result of their unusual sleeping arrangements with the unwed Marsily and Fergus, Claire and Jamie had to be 
be separated at night. Lo and behold, it started to rain, giving everyone on board a reason to celebrate. In excitement, the husband and wife found themselves alone in the corridors. Well, it's enough to say that they had their little celebration in an empty storage room. What's more, we have the effects of the turtle soup at number five. After the wedding of Marsali and Fergus in episode 11 of season three, the ship's passengers get into a raucous mood, with the handsome hunk and his injured wife leading the charge. By that point, she could have hardly given herself the antibiotics she needed before the aphrodisiac effects of Mr. Willoughby's turtle soup kicked in. Well, the woman knew how she wanted to use her strength, and her husband was more than happy to oblige. Following up on number four, we have the unforgettable makeup session. In this scene from episode nine of season one, the newlyweds realize they have much to learn about one another. The Highlander chastised his wife for being taken prisoner by the brutal Blackjack Randall and for putting the lives of his soldiers in danger to save her. Being the strong woman she was, she understood that she preferred to be treated equally to others rather than as a helpless victim. After a lengthy discussion, the two arrived at an understanding, with Jamie swearing that he would never go against her wishes again. Alas, what better than two lovers being reunited? Maybe what comes after? Not to mention the declarations of love at number three. With tensions rising between England and Scotland during season two, the pair finally returned to Lollybrock. Once there, the Highlander revealed some family secrets to his lady love, including the fact that his father was a horrible man and that he was a bastard. Although thrilled that he had opened up to her, his faithful wife told him he was the most honorable table man she had ever met. Nothing could change her opinion of him. How adorable! In this steamy episode, we realize that less is more concerning s**tiness, as all we get to see is Jamie lifting his wife and taking her to bed. And trust us, that was enough to make our imaginations run wild. Coming up at second place, we have the time he needed a push. After his narrow escape from Blackjack in the series' second season, fans were saddened to witness the after-effects the whole ordeal had on the main character. He seemed withdrawn and less committed to his wife, but the faithful Claire seemed determined to do everything she could to bring back the man she loved. After a heated argument, his wife pinned him down just as the Highlander was about to storm off into another room. In a desperate attempt to regain some semblance of normalcy, she straddled him and whispered for him to come back to her to find her. Are you guys getting chills? Because we sure are. Last but certainly not least, we have the couple's wedding night. At the top, the seventh episode of the first season was titled The Wedding, but the consummation would have been a more appropriate name for it. The couple's first time together as husband and wife were disastrous, but as you know, practice makes perfect. Their second and third romps in the sack were much more satisfying, not only for the two, but for us too. Apart from all the steamy scenes we witnessed, the best thing about this one was the couple's growing self-assurance in one another. Nothing is better than having the pleasure of witnessing two people fall in love with one another. That's a wrap for this video. Do you want to know more about scandalous details from the series? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.